What's up YouTube? My name is Chad. This is the Wisco Boater Channel. Welcome back to another update on the Maracaibo Project. Today we are going to lift the boat up and move the trailer out from underneath the boat. It's a fairly simple process. I'll show you how to do this and uh, you just need the correct, uh, you need something to support the boat obviously when, uh, when you take the, uh, the trailer out from underneath and I'll show you what I did to uh, accomplish that. Uh, so let's take a look at what I have made here in order to support the boat to uh, lift the boat up, set it back down on some stands and get the trailer off from underneath. So the last couple of days I've been working on building some jack stands. Now you can buy these. Uh, they run about somewhere around $250 a piece if you buy the metal ones. They are adjustable in height. Um, these are not, uh, but I made these basically specifically for the smaller boats that I work on and restore. So. These are uh, around 27, 28 inches high. I had some birch plywood on hand. I've, I've had this four x four. This used to be one piece. I've, I've probably had this four x four for 10 years and it's just been sitting around waiting for some use. And I finally have, have, a, have a use for it. So I did buy some split two by fours that uh, one of the local wood shops here and their wood suppliers here in town, uh, they take two by fours chop them down to two by twos. Um, so I just bought a couple of, uh, I think I bought three of these and then cut those to the correct length and then mitered them so that they're all, um, uh, so they help support the side to side loads that uh, may be experienced, unlikely uh, with about this light. But um, so I bought those boards, I think we're about 14 bucks. I did buy some hardware, the, uh, the hinges there um, and then up underneath here, I bought some little, uh, latch. These are, uh, these are for latches for like a, a door or a gate or something. So I use those to, uh, give me the ability to swivel the top. Um, so I think I've got about, I don't know, 35 bucks in these. Um, had the, again, this is, this is birch. I had the trailer bunk carpet. Um, so really inexpensive stands to build. I didn't, uh, didn't build these off of clans, just kind of made them up as I went. So those are going to support the stern of the boat. And then for the bow of the boat, I've got this set up here. Uh, that little V block I built a while back to trailer, um, the dinghy that I had. So that will go up under the bow. Uh, my neighbor Jeff's uh, um, car wheel block is underneath the uh, the V block there. That's the black black uh, foam box you're looking at there. Uh, and then I'll use some uh, insulation foam to get the right height once we get the boat lifted. And in order to get the boat lifted, I'm going to use my tie boss, just one of these systems. I'm going to move it over to hang off of the. Uh, the garage door support here that's very it's very strong we're probably only lifting i'm guessing maybe 100 pounds maybe 150 pounds because the majority of the weight of the boat's going to be back at the stern with the motor back there and all we need to do is lift this up a few inches to get the trailer out from underneath uh, i've i've actually hung on this bar just to make sure that it would hold my weight um, i'm 200 pounds so it held me just fine, didn't move, didn't crack, didn't make any sounds, so I think this will be just fine. Uh, the first thing we need to do is lower the jack as far as it will go. So that'll bring the trailer down, that'll bring the stern of the boat up, and then we'll put the jack stands in place, jack the boat back, the trailer back up, which will then contact the jack stands, lift the uh, back end of the boat off the trailer, and then we'll use the tie boss to lift the, uh, the bow up. That's the plan. Hung up on something.
Okay, the trailer jack is uh, now as low as it will go. So that lifted the stern of the boat up. So we'll bring the jack stands back here, set those in place, and uh, we'll lift the bow of the boat back up. Okay, I've got the jack stands uh, in place back here. Those are ready to support the stern. I did have to fold the jack to get the trailer low enough in order to get the, uh, the, the stern high enough. But the bow of the boat is super light, so this is not a, not a huge deal. I should be able to just lift this right up and put the jack back up in place. Jack is in place, let me check the stands. All right, now, I'm gonna make sure we unhook the uh, boat. So we'll jack the boat up, the jack the trailer back up. And doing this is going to lift the rear end of the boat off the trailer. Okay, let's just go do a quick check. Yep, we have daylight between the trailer and the boat. And the bunks are just about clear. Go a little bit higher. Right out there. All right, we got about probably three inches of clearance back at the stern and an inch or so between the bunks and the boat. So now the boat is just resting on the uh, tongue of the trailer. Jack stands are nice and sturdy. I gotta go on the other side and take a couple of uh, uh, clamps that I had over there to keep the boat from wobbling when it was sitting on the trailer. So I'll get those taken off and then I'll get the uh, tie boss system set up to lift the bow of the boat and get the stand underneath it. All right, so here's my setup. I've got my strap run through the uh, bow eye here and then both of the hooks from the strap connected to the tie boss. Uh, I should be able to just use the mechanical leverage of the uh, block and tackle system here in order to lift the boat up. We'll see what happens. All right. So it took just a little bit of effort, not, not a big deal, but uh, the boat is now clear of the trailer. So now uh, just pull the boat or pull the uh, trailer out of the way. I'm gonna put it in the empty bay here since Brittany's not home. And then we'll slide that block over there underneath the bow and then we'll let the boat back down.
Suspended boat. Jacks look good. All right, now I know what you're thinking. Get that block <laughs> up under the bow as quickly as possible. So let's do that now. Okay, we don't really need any side to side supports because the boat's not going to rock with the jacks being in the back there. So, let's let the uh, tie boss block and tackle set back down. It's resting on, it is resting on the, on the block. It's uh, got a little bit of movement. So I might have to uh, figure out how to stiffen that up just a little bit before I get in the boat. But as far as the boat being secure, it's not going anywhere. So that, uh, that's a successful boat lift. The boat is completely on jack stands now. Actually, it looks pretty level. And uh, so I'll go around and kind of check everything out. And uh, here's the trailer. This is a teeny. See, there I go bumping the boat. It's going to make me nervous every time. So, this is a, a teeny trailer that I'm going to work on restoring. See the padding in the bunks here is all trashed. I'm going to have the, uh, the fenders media blasted here next week so I can get the dent fixed and get those, get those repainted. But this trailer is a super simple trailer. I might check in to see what it might cost to have the whole thing media blasted. These rollers, yeah, see they should, they don't all turn. Those need to be freed up. But uh, the trailer's going to go sit outside for a little while at uh, my friend's house while I uh, continue to work on the boat. So that is how you lift a boat off its trailer to get the trailer out from underneath it sitting in your garage. All right, so thanks for watching this episode of the Wisco Boater Channel. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to stop doing the whole subscribe thing. If you want to subscribe, go ahead. I'm not going to, I'm not going to keep asking for it. So I just hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching. Happy boating, everybody.